everybody. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about Socrative, which is an online tool that allows teachers to create quizzes and administer tests and quizzes and exit tickets in the classroom without having to purchase the expensive software and expensive clickers or student response systems that go along with it. You can use this system with any type of mobile device or in a computer lab situation uh, or with cell phones, iPods, anything that you want. And this makes it a really nice asset to the classroom, especially in a one-to-one -one environment or in a situation where it's a little bit difficult to come by the funds to buy all those different things. That way you can have your students bring your own device and they can work with you in the classroom administering quizzes, getting real-time feedback. Now the first thing that you'll want to do when you uh, go to the site, and that's at Socrative.com, you'll need to go to the teacher sign-up page. This allows you to create a free account. They don't need any kind of method of payment because everything is free, and they don't share your email address. All they need is the email address and a password that you create to set up your account. Now I have already set up an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log into mine and as you can see once I log into my account I see a real clean simple interface here it does say you need at least two devices to try Socrative so what I'm going to do here in just a moment is I'm going to use my iPad to log in as a student and I'm going to administer a quiz so that you can see what that looks like while the students taking the quiz now uh, for the most part there's some basic things here you have a room number that room number is constant it stays the same so the number that you see over there on the right that is my room number I could write that on the board and keep it up there all year and that way the kids always know which room number they need to go to when they go to the site now it's very simple like I said students can bring their own devices as long as they can access the web they can get to this they just have to go to Socrative.com and instead of logging in as a teacher they would just choose the student login and all they'd need to put in is that number students don't need accounts to do this it's very simple and there is also an app that's supported by Socrative so you can get an app so that if you have an iPad lab you could put the app on your iPads there's just all sorts of different ways that you could access it below that it says students in room I'm going to go ahead and log in as a student into my iPad so that you can see when the student shows up in the room. I'll click the student login and I'll enter the teacher's room number into my device. And once I log in or click join room, then you'll notice that changes to one student in the room. It takes a little time, uh, but you can see it's 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 updated now. Below that section, you have a single question activity section where you can just ask a question on the fly and display results so I'm, I'm gonna ask a true false question really quick here just gonna throw this up here and I'm gonna say for instance what's the best stuff on earth is it chocolate true or false and the student could say true and that activity that of them pressing true or false that will show up on my response bar here and I could tell them out loud whether true is the correct answer or false um, and then we can go on with the lecture so that's a, just a quick way to get a feel for how the students are understanding the material in the classroom you can also do multiple choice with those or short answer they're very easy to do the next section is quiz based activities this lets me start a quiz that I've made prior to this session you can go into this section and um, administer quizzes anytime you want but when you want to manage your quizzes that's the next section down you can come into Socrative and create quizzes by typing in your questions saving them for the future and it keeps them on your account all in, all in this little section under quiz based activities I'm going to show you what it looks like when I administer a quiz that I've made previously click on start quiz and then from the drop down menu I can choose select a saved quiz I'm going to choose this movie trivia quiz and you could choose to either run that quiz as a student paced quiz letting them answer the questions at their own pace or a teacher paced quiz where you have every student answering the same question at the same time if you do a student paced quiz you can choose to randomize their choices and you can also um, disable right and wrong feedback so that they don't see the answer right away 
I'm going to choose a student paced quiz to let the student answer the questions at their own rate. As you can see on the inset video, uh, the student screen has changed and it's asking for their name. You'll need to make sure that your students enter their correct name. Just tell them you won't get a score unless you tell me your real name and that will help tremendously. While they're answering questions, you can click live results so that you can see the results as they're occurring. And I'm just going to run through here and answer some of these questions. I'm going to answer some of them right and some of them wrong so that we can uh, get a feel for when a correct answer is made over here on the right. You'll notice that as soon as the student is answering, it is telling them whether they got it right or wrong. Like I said, you can turn off that feature. And we'll go through this kind of quickly here. We'll give it another couple of wrong answers. And then a right answer. And then we will finish the quiz. Now, you'll notice on the progress, the student has completed six of six. They got three out of five correct. Um, the reason there's six questions is because the first question was, what is your name? Uh, that's important. And now that we're finished, I can click End Activity. And the first thing that it asks me is whether or not I would like to email this report to myself or download the report. Whether you, whether you choose to do the report right now or not, it does archive the results so that you can go back to them at any time. So I'm actually going to choose no report. And it takes me back to the screen. Now since those results have been saved, if I want to go back at any time and look at those results, and record them in my gradebook. All I have to do is scroll down here and I can click on manage quizzes and I can go to the very bottom where it says retrieve a previous re quiz report. Now it shows here that the most recent quiz was today and if I just leave it on there I can hit send report and it will send it to the email address that I use for my account or if I hit download report then it will download it in an Excel file that I can open and read on my computer right away. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up and bring it over. And you can see here, here's my quiz report. The name of the student was student. And I can see whether they got the answer correct or incorrect. And then at the very end, I can see a score for that quiz. And of course, if this was an entire class, then the rest of this Excel chart would be filled up with their responses and their scores as well. So you can see it's pretty simple to do a quiz. Now let me go back here to the main screen and show you what it looks like to manage and create quizzes. Uh, we go to the exact same place we just were under the create, edit, and import quizzes section. Guess we could have stayed there when I did this section, but at any point that you want to create a quiz, all you have to do is go into this section and click create a quiz. And there are a couple of options here. You first have to put a quiz name at the top, so I'm going to put sample quiz. And in this section here where it says sharing, as long as the enable sharing box is checked, you can actually get a number to share this quiz with another teacher. So if you have another teacher that you work with that also uses Socrative, you can give them your shared quiz number and they can import that quiz into their account just by using the import quiz feature. In the next section below that you can choose the type of question you want to add and then I'm going to click on multiple choice and you just type in your question. I'm going to do something simple here so that we can get through it very quickly and you can add as many options as you want up to five and you can also put an explanation in there if you want so that if they get it wrong or right either way they get an explanation as to why blue is the correct answer and then if I quit, click save that quiz is saved and there's the shared quiz number you can copy that and give it to another teacher and then when they go in and import a quiz then they can add it to their account there's the import quiz section and click import shared quiz and that's where they would put in the number that you just saw with the shared quiz that I just created. I'm going to go back to the main screen. Uh, very little is left on here. Uh, you do have a clear room button at the bottom. 
Uh, you'll notice in the little inset video, my student is still waiting for me to do something. If I click the clear room button, then it should bump that student off of my account. I'm back to students in room is zero, and that student's screen now goes back to a login where it requires a room number. In the quiz based activities section, you do have an exit ticket that you could use to get the pulse of the class to determine whether or not they understood what you were talking about. That's a very cool one. And then you can also turn your quizzes into a game. You can choose any quiz that you've uh, created previously and set it up so that you can have teams and they can auto assign the teams into colors. I'm going to go ahead and this may not work with just one student in the room but I'm going to go ahead and try it and I'll click next and of course as they answer questions then the students on whichever team they're on their little rocket will race across the screen and whoever finishes first wins so you know as the student is answering questions uh, for instance if he answers this first one correctly or incorrectly the rocket will move or not move so let's see how he does on this question and it looks like he got that one correct and his rocket moves across he's on the yellow team as you can see on his screen and up here on my screen so that's a that's a situation where you would want to leave your projector on at the front of the room so that all the teams could see the the game going on on the main screen they could see the progress of their group they could see the progress of the other groups it's very cool and it's a very fun way to do um, a quiz in the classroom or at least review for a quiz well that's the basics and if you have any questions just feel free to contact me at any time I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you later <laughs>